We can, uh, we, we can pass out all the paper in the world, and we don't pass, I don't got three rooms over here. I know, right? And, <laughs> I do too. And, and the bottom line is, you can, you can succinctly bring all But it's, it's fairly simple. We're asking for $5.2 million over last year's budget. $2.5 million of that is the longevity bonus for all employees. Certified, whether you're a custodian, been working in Franklin County 20 years or two years. Bus driver. Often the people who are forgotten. The folks we've seen in Durham County not showing up, parking the buses and that type of thing. Fortunately, in Franklin County, we haven't had to do that. Supplements, we didn't start a supplement. We merged these two school districts. This is a historic year. This is the 30th year merger. This is 2024, I do believe. And we merged in 1994. And I'm going to tell you, I've never seen as much potential conflict between a board of commissioners and school board as back then when that was fairly contentious. But when we merged, there was not a, a uh, supplement in this county. Absolutely zero for teachers. And old Gene Allen, and Doug Moore and others, uh, I think we started the first year at about 98 with $500. And then it crept up to 750 for a few years. And then it might finally got up in the mid-90s to 1500 And then it gradually got up to where it is today. Is it 8% Dr. Shula? Yeah. Eight percent, but I understand, Roxanne, what you're talking about your people, and 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 I'm I'm all for anybody getting what they got, and I understand you advocate for yours, but we got to advocate for our kids. But we're being inundated with these questions, and I'm gonna be quite frank with you, like Dr. Shuler said, a lot of these questions, when I look at them, I made notes on them, but I'm gonna go from the old head here, is that is. You've got enough detail. There's been enough time spent on paper. It, we, we're an elected board of education, every one of us over here, just like you're an elected board of commissioners. I had to go out and stick out my signs and raise my little thousand dollars and run to Gary Kennard and get me some cards. And, and you know, we, we, are, we are elected to operate the schools. But to ask us for receipts, contracts, invoices, Dr. Shuler used the word overreach. It's way overreach. If, if the county commissioners want to operate and, and you know, take our places, maybe start working with your legislature and, and let them replace it, and y'all take that on too. I mean, we, we are trying our best. All we're doing is advocating for children. And, and I'm going to tell you, this is my 35th budget. I worked 38 years with the school district and retired. But the last 22 was with Franklin County Schools, either as an assistant superintendent or executive director. And I've been to many presentations. We talk about debt service. The reason the debt service and, and, and the reason we, get, we had GO obligation bonds, 04, 30 some million, and 08, 51 million. And I can look in my reams of paper and show you, you it's a, it's a deal of trust. It's like it's mistrust here. I can tell you, the County Board of Education has never, ever tried to hide things from the Board of, from the board of Commissioners. We've always been up front with them. We've provided everything they ever asked for. But this year is the first year we have got into the weeds, as they say, the minutia, and dig down, and, and people asking for invoices and contracts. The, bo the bottom line is the reason we need five million is on this one little sheet. We can stay all night and go through every one of these questions. This gentleman present his, and then Queen will do a response, and then some of us, like me and Ms. Bragg, interject. But the $2.5 million longevity bonus, we're asking for it. And, and, and we're advocating for our, our staff, everybody. Now, only 42,608 instructional materials. 541,000 increased insurance utility rates. I can tell you, cost of utilities is going up. 
<laughs> and when you've got 17 school sites, 1.8 million square footage of facilities, it costs a lot for electricity. And as Ms. Dent says, a lot, a lot of our conflict here is being pushed on us by the North Carolina General Assembly. Because there was a time 30 plus years ago they paid for utilities, but they quit that. There used to be a time they paid longevity bonuses, but they quit that. They used to pay master's degrees, but they quit that. Teaching is a hard position to fill. Just today, Wake County Public Schools announced their teacher of the year. Do you know where it came from? You know who trained it and spent money on it? Franklin County Schools about eight, ten years ago. Came to Franklin County. We hired him, trained him, invested in him. But Wake County, now named Teacher of the Year. We're asking $711,000 for $488,000 for, I mean $711,000 for benefits. I mean, everybody knows the cost of benefits is rising. We've cut some positions. We cut media coordinators. And I, I'm going to tell you, that was as painful thing as this Board of Education has ever done, was to have to reassign media coordinators. But we did all that trying to improve the school situation overall. And then charter schools, I'm telling you, people need to understand. You cannot. You, you, all of you sitting around here, you are funding two school systems. You are, I won't say that again. You are funding two school systems. And that is the reason these requests are so big, because why is it big? Franklin County is growing. It's just like the state legislature. Some of them jump up and down and say, we're spending more money on education than we ever did. Well, you know why? The North Carolina population is growing like crazy. We take in 8,000 from New York each year. We take in 8,500 from California. Everybody has found out what Mark Speed and David Byrne and I all know. Franklin County is a great place, and Harry Ford knows it too. He's been here as long as we have. But that's, that's it. That, that, that's all the increases. And, and we can sit here all night and argue about, well, I don't have enough information for this, and I don't have that, and, and you can ask that, and Queenie can ask that. But the, re the reality of it is it's on that one little page, and historically, if you look at it, we have been good stewards. I just want to quickly go back to the 08 bond in 04. We came in on every project under budget. The $51 million bond referendum, we came in 11 or 12 million under. And then we turned around and spent that on Turtle Lane, revamping that school, built a stadium at Lewisburg. And the debt service, that's talked about a lot, it was a combined effort of the Franklin County commissioners, leadership, and Board of Education walking hand in hand getting voter approval. And, and what did they do? They voted for a tax increase. That's what they were doing. Now, I don't know if the taxes have ever been raised because of that. I don't think it has. I think we've been able to cover it with existing structure. So we had two successful bond referendums, and I don't think we ever had to raise taxes. But I'm going to close by saying all we're doing is trying to maintain our existence in a struggling environment and to provide the very best opportunity for our kids. And, and again, in my, this is my 35th budget. I've never seen so much information presented, so much information sent back, so much sent forth. And now here we are. I feel like I'm on CNN and Fox watching something that I don't even want to talk about. Because people, we, we can do better than this. And, and that's enough information. I, 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 will, I will debate with anybody in this room on the county side from now until midnight. And if we want to take a break, we'll start back tomorrow. That you don't have enough information. It, enough information is not the problem. The problem is how to fund it. And you're saying you've got to have a tax increase. I hope you don't. Last year, what was said, we got to have a tax increase. Extra funding came, no tax increase. One person has said tonight, probably a tax increase. 
One person has said tax increase. So I, I, don't, I don't know that because that's your, your business. As your attorney said, she succinctly said, that's y'all's deal. That's not ours. Ours is to communicate the needs for these kids. And I'm going to tell you, uh, as long as I'm a member and my colleagues back there, and I'm going to tell you, the, the, my colleagues back there and, and Dr. Shul and all them people, Every day, all, all they're doing is advocating for the children of our school district. That's all it is. There's no hidden agenda. Dr. Shul's not going to end up next week running for office or something. And, and you know, we got Dr. Keith, where she, she back there. She's been, she, I hate to say it, but she got more years than I do. But, but, but my point is, all these nitpicking conflicting questions going back and forth. It's totally unnecessary, Mr. Ford. Y'all got more than enough information. You just got to decide how much we can do and how much we can't do. And then we all just have to, to bear with it. And thank you for your time. And I promise I'll try to stay seated. But knowing me, if something strikes me, I, I might be back.